Hey everybody, it's uh, Cam the Man and Martine the Dream uh, bringing you the CrossFit Games update show, uh, CrossFit Forest version. Um, we have some notable things to talk about on today's show. Right now our team is sitting in 21st place. Uh, we were in 15th but we dropped a little bit. Martin, tell us more about that. Yeah, last week, team finished in uh, 14th place after a good, solid workout, first workout for us uh, this week. A uh, little bump on the road. We, we fall a few spots. It's not as bad as we thought. We're still 21st, top 15, make the cut. But like there's uh, two little points before between 10th and 30th to start making any claims. So Martin, nothing that we're worried about as a team. We we uh, bump in the road, moving on, doing pretty good on this uh, next week. Yeah, yeah. awesome. Looking okay. forward to uh, some good workouts coming our way. The more skillful they get, uh, the better we're gonna do. Love it. Hopefully. We also have uh, a couple masters uh, that are doing really well at CrossFit Forest in the top 100. Uh, the first that we'd like to talk about is uh, our good old Tanya Osborne, the uh, assassin. Um, silent assassin. The silent assassin. The silent assassin. Silent assassin. She's sitting in uh, first right now. Uh, Martine, is she, is, can anybody beat her? Is she unbeatable? Is she unbeatable? Uh, I think it's up to her. This year it's up yep. to her. Like, okay. Definitely, uh, if you look at Tanya's performances in past year, like this workout, the, the, these are long workouts and she wasn't supposed to be doing good on long workouts. Yep. Uh, he took nothing but first on the first one and second on the second one, only by the tiebreaker, which doesn't count, right? Right. right. So right. now, if according you... to your standards, the tiebreaker doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you're a woman uh, competing against Tanya, would you be afraid uh, to write about it? I think, I think that, yeah. You would like, be She's she's a she's a threat this year. She she's, is a threat. She, she's coming for that podium. She she stays in blood from last year. She has that uh, revenge and she wants she wants it. she wants it bad this year. I love so it. She's gonna put a fight. I love it. And, and she's and showing already. I like it. And not to mention that we have one uh, in the world, dude. Number one, one in the world is pretty one good. In the like, world, like, you like, can't do any better than that, right? Yeah, Martin? right. <laughs> uh, we got Joyce. Uh, Joyce is kicking. Absolute uh, beast. Joyce is hitting in 28th uh, right now. Martin, pretty good performance on 16.2. Exactly. Yeah, she dropped a little bit on 16.2. Last week she was 25th. Uh, this week she dropped a few spots, but she's still fine. Uh, sitting in there pretty reasonable. Top 200 go to uh, the Master Qualifier. She's in 28th. She's got uh, a good buffer, huh? And yeah, top 20 actually make it to the game. So she's, she's, she's right there. Love um, it. We haven't seen a strength piece. And um, that's one that's on her wheelhouse, right? Probably, like, it. like yeah, she's gonna crush that. And then the next one we'll we have, from there. yeah, the next one we have to talk about is uh, is Noe and Dale. Noe sitting in 75th place, and Dale sitting in 91st. Is it does it surprise you, Martin, when we talk about this group? We're talking about them as masters. Like, do you think of these people as masters, or are you are you thinking that these people are uh, this, are 30 this, years old are, and under? I mean, is this, this so these guys are bad? Or are these like, guys? Like, <laughs> they are for real. Like, yep. maybe we don't see that because we're like so used to like people like working out and that thing. But you take like any of these guys with that an average like guys uh, in their twenties or something like that, and like uh, you have to keep up with these guys. They all that's like how many workouts RX all the time. Like, like would you be an absolute idiot to try to take one of these guys' wallets uh, on a dark night? <laughs> <laughs> like, would you guys just absolutely? No they don't even yeah, look yeah. like they are masters, right? Yep, no, not at all, not at all. Uh, we got some PRs, a lot of good PRs this week. Did well, we mention Dale's in 90, 90, 91st place? 91st yeah. place. 91st, Same shooting. thing, all these guys are in the road for a masters qualifier. Top 100. Uh, top 100, top 200 go there, but they are top 100, so they actually have shot to make it one step farther. Like it. Okay, so yeah. Uh, next thing we're gonna have like some highlights, some uh, good performances, some PRs. Love it. Uh, notable moments from last week. Uh, I have three that I remember. Uh, were you there? For the, all you of know them? what? Uh, I've heard stories about them you. All. You definitely watched that there one. There was way more than three, but the three that we'd like to uh, talk yeah. about were Marianne, Love Marianne, Maglalang, uh, 95 pound clean, getting a couple of reps in there. Unbelievable. Just, like, feeling the struggle, like second yeah. to last on her hit. Uh, that was uh, beautiful cool. to watch. Then Jamie, 
uh, Jamie Rust. Like she made it one more round than Marianne. She hit 115. Uh, I think it's like a 20 pound PR. She got it three times. Unbelievable. Uh, and she was. Wouldn't you kill for a 20 pound PR right I'll now? I'll take a 20 pound PR. I would punch PR my right. grandma on I'll be okay TV with not for 20 pound PR for a year right? or two years <laughs> if I get a 20 pound PR like instantly right now. Love it, love it. Like uh, third place or like third third PR that we want to bring up, Debbie. <coughs> Debbie Granada, our uh, gym mom, like hitting a 65 pound clean, getting really? up right on the buzzer. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, we're gonna be well, we'll posting it on the members post the group. Video. It's, you uh, have to watch that video. Grab some tissues. It's a uh, it's a tearjerker. It's yeah, pretty amazing. A lot of people are crying in the gym. <laughs> well, that happened. It was really really amazing thing to watch. Love it. So, and then last but certainly not least, uh, somebody that's a little bit newer to our gym that's uh, really made an impact early. Uh, go ahead and talk about this young yeah, man. We want to bring that uh, this week, Matt Dame's performance. Uh, yep. I don't know, guys, if you've met Matt, he usually comes in the morning classes. Uh, Matt actually joined uh, CrossFit Forest like a couple weeks before the Open. Like when we were starting, like talking, hey, how you sign up for the Open? This guy shows up, not even have a clue what CrossFit is. Right. He does the workout, he's like, oh, dude, like that was hard. Like, what do I do tomorrow? And like, all of a sudden, he's uh, signing up for the Open. His two workouts in, he hit it RX both time, get peace, even redoing workouts already. Uh, and he's gonna get better, nothing but better out of with that attitude. And he's, he's just kicking, I think. Uh, it's important to bring that up because that's that's something that's what really we're about, natural, right? That's what right? we're about. It's, it's not about number one in the world or that like everybody. Everybody in our community is important. Uh, um, but yeah, shout out to Matt, Matt for is, sure. Is, is a couple weeks in, going it's hard. Amazing. Yeah. The cool yeah. thing is, guys, like we said, we got some uh, some really good athletes in our gym, but the the uh, notable moments, the more important moments that we've seen are those high fives and those chest bumps. Just people that uh, aren't afraid to put themselves out there in the gym. Um, we're looking forward to 16.3. Yeah. Martin, I don't know about you, but I'm big, looking forward to like- Big shout out to everybody like supporting each other. Uh, that's the, the best part. fire right? and everything, redoing, people just coming to cheer. Like, hey, are you doing the workout? Are you doing? No, I am just came to watch and just support somebody. That was amazing. Yep. Happened Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Monday mornings. People coming at 6 a.m just to help someone with judging and that's amazing that's good amazing. stuff guys i'm really enjoying the open i'm loving uh, it we can't wait that, till 16.3 uh, guys until next show we will see you next time